Derek. Um, now we sent Derek out with our cameras to see what he could pick up from a castle that was built for one of William the Conqueror's barons. Take a look at this. I'm here today at Tutbury Castle to see and look into, even investigate this beautiful castle to see if there's any spirits, spirit activity, uh, benevolent or otherwise, or even residual energy. And standing next to me is the lovely Queen Mary, or should I say Leslie Smith, the curator. Leslie, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you very much. Can you tell me a few brief details about this lovely castle? Well, this castle as a spot has been the place where the warlords have built their, waters, their fortresses for hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. The Saxons were here, the Normans were here with all their might, mm. um, and indeed the place had some of the most famous names in English history, some of which I suspect you're going to find here within these walls. I hope so. It's in a dreadful state now, not because it's unloved, but because it was too loved. And here's the thunder talking to us, talking yes. to spirits. Yes. And uh, it was Cromwell who came here and smashed this place to pieces because of a certain king who was here. And let's see if Derek can find that king. So so as you look about you in this magnificent spot, you can be sure that there are people who've lived and laughed and had their families here, but there's been blood and siege and thunder and murder. Some thunder's joining us already, and let's see what else you can find. Well, Leslie, the feelings, the, the residual energy, even the activity is just compelling me, virtually pulling me back physically from my shoulders. With your approval, may I go into this lovely castle? Thou art welcome, my lord. Come thank forth. Thank you, Queen Mary. That's better. Thank you, Sam. Bless you. And he's just said, the gentleman that is very close by to you and very interested in what is going on here today calls himself Henry. Henry. And I feel, I don't feel English with this Henry. I don't feel of English origin at all. And because he also gives me Henry, and it sounded like D, or Henry de, Henry de. Okay, thank you, Sam. Pronounce it again so I can understand it. Henry de Ferrer. Henry de Ferrer is here. When Derek was in the Great Hall, he said through Sam that he was in touch with someone called Henry. It was Henry de somebody, or Henry first somebody, who was not of English birth. And they were, he was from the 11th century. This was staggeringly accurate because the castle in 1071 was given to Henry de Ferrers, who was indeed from France, and of course everything that he, uh, Derek said in that moment was absolutely right. So that was bang on. Well done, Derek. Well done, Derek, indeed. That's all for this part of predictions, but after the break we see more of Derek's investigations and we take some further questions from our lovely studio audience. We'll see you then. Castle in Staffordshire as Derek continues to give us his insight into the past. Yes, thank you. I'm also, oh, where he is. I've got Charles Wong, Charles, Charles the First. And I want to say to you, pointing here to this fireplace, you know, is if I don't know, it's like as if I want to stand and pride myself on the side like this, you see. And as I get those, uh, you know, conditions with this man, um, he is shorter than me, naturally, but he's not in my, he's shown himself to me earlier, but he's shown himself again. Rather proud um, man here. And uh, he seems to be, um, how can I put it, uh, quite pleased, quite happy for our presence here today. So he's benevolent, he's a benevolent spirit. The next person Derek mentioned in the Great Hall was Charles, Charles I. And he said that this man was pointing towards the fireplace. Now, for me as curator here, I can tell you that's rather moving. 
Charles I indeed was in this room. He lived in this room for a portion of time during the Civil War and he was here with Prince Rupert and he built the fireplace in the Great Hall for his own use. To help me with verification in this, I asked Derek to tell me how tall this man was that he could actually see. And he held his hand at a height that told me immediately he was indeed seeing Charles I because Charles I was only four foot eleven with his little heels on, maybe five foot one, five foot two at most. And that is where uh, Derek held his hand in height. Now, most people, if they were trying to pretend that they could see a king, he would be a lot taller than that. So that was very well done again. OK, would you like to appear on Predictions and be part of the audience? If so, all you have to do is write to us here, including your address and telephone number, to Granada Breeze, Key Street, Manchester, M60 9EA. That's Granada Breeze, Key Street, Manchester, M60 9EA. Or you can email us on predictions at gbreeze.co.uk. Once again, I think you know it by now. It's predictions at gbreeze.co.uk.